Hi, right, this is Phil, Dirty Drive Away. So we're coming to you today from Hayes in Kent. I was out here yesterday and I've uh, cleaned this block paved driveway. And I've come back today to uh, do a few repairs and to re-sand it. So I gave it a basic clean. Uh, obviously with the season's coming to an end, we're now in sort of mid or early October. Um, so I was getting a little bit a little bit late in the season for this kind of stuff, but um, the weather's still quite nice. But anyway, the customers asked me if I can uh, reset a few of the blocks, and you can see just down here, you can get a better angle at it, excuse the shakiness. Um, I was going to use my, my phone with the gimbal, but the S9 Plus doesn't seem to work in the gimbal, which is too big. Typical. So anyway, you can, um, there's a section here, and there's a, a section over here, and there's one just down here, there's a couple of blocks there that are, are lifting, or have sunk away, can't really see it at this angle, and the same again, just down there, there's a small patch there. Um, now I'm not a paving contractor, I don't lay paving um, but obviously resetting a few blocks or re-leveling a few blocks is something that I can do. It's quite straightforward and I thought I'd do a quick video to uh, help some of my fellow subscribers. I know a lot of you guys out there are in the same industry, um, a lot of you are starting up. I get a lot of uh, emails uh, asking for help and advice so here's another, another bit you can add, add to your belt should we say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pause this, I'm going to set up on a tripod, try and get you in as close as I can. I'm going to start with a couple that are over here as they're quite small so it doesn't take up too much time on the video. Um, basically just show you how, to, how you can quickly um, level off some of these blocks, quite straightforward. Uh, you're going to need a couple of basic tools. You're going to need, well this is what I use, nothing fancy, you're going to need some sand, I either build a sand or sharp sand. Uh, you'll probably find sharp sand. You can get a bit more, uh, a bit more of a, uh, a stable base. Um, but builder sand's fine. Don't use kiln dried sand. It's too dry, and it just just doesn't really work properly. Uh, something to kneel on because obviously you don't want to knacker your knees. A couple of a uh, couple of big fat screwdrivers um, to try and ease the blocks out. The hardest part of this job is getting the initial block out. Um, we're quite fortunate on this driveway. Uh, it's uh, the blocks are actually uh, quite. They're, they're all they're all shifting. I mean, if you look at this driveway, you can clearly see it's not the flattest. It's not the um, it's not the best in the world. There's quite a lot of shifting blocks. A lot of these blocks here look they got massive, massive joint lines. The whole the whole driveway shifting. But I'm trying to I'm trying to tile it up. Um, so yeah, getting the initial blocks out on a, on a standard driveway. You know, you've got sort of your average sort of I don't know three three mil um, joints. You're going to cut the big screwdrivers to lever it out. You can buy dedicated block removers, like a tool that grips the blocks, lifts them out. You don't really need it. Um, obviously, if you do a lot of it, it's worth investing in one. Um, you might need a couple of um, trowels just to scrape some of the old sand out. You know, you're not repointing or anything. And you're going to need a rubber hammer. Now, this one is a dead blow hammer. It's a shot field hammer. Uh, basically gives you more, uh, more womp for your whack, should we say. But you can pick up a basic rubber hammer for any DIY store. A um, couple of bits of scrap wood that you can uh, you can whack down on with your hammer. If all you've got is a club hammer or a metal hammer, obviously make sure you use wood. Don't go straight on the blocks because you will smack the shit out of them. Um, and a brush just to clear away any crap afterwards. That's it really, basic tools. You don't need anything fancy. If you're doing a lot of it, you can invest in some better stuff. Um, but for the odd, the odd job here and there, this stuff here is perfectly fine. Right, I'm going to set up on the tripod, put me, uh, put me mic in, hopefully cut out some of this wind, back shortly. Right, okay, so I am set, ready to go. I will apologise if at any time you see my feet, hands or, the, or my head. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm simply going to reset this one, this one, this one, and probably this one here. These, these ones here are relatively... Um, they're quite um, level already and this, because this driveway is not flat at all you're never going to get perfectly straight um, so we're going to end up sort of going across here I do have a longer bit of wood in the van which I may go and grab out very quickly bear with me as if by magic a large piece of wood appears 
obviously you can use a spirit level, but you don't want to be going wacky on top of a spirit level because chances are you might bust the uh, bust the bubble in it. So uh, that's why wood's quite handy. If you are going to use a bit of wood for uh, leveling, obviously make sure it's as flat as you can get it. Most of our uh, common chain DIY stores seem to have a problem stocking flat wood. God knows why. Right. So first thing to do, like I say, that one's staying put. That one, that one, that one, and that one if you can see it. But we're going to take them out. If you're doing a larger area and you've got lots of cut blocks, it may be advantageous to take a picture of it with your phone before you start, just so you know which way around the blocks go. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but sometimes these blocks, although they may look the same, they may be slightly different. Um, so it's worth taking a quick snap if you are going to get stuck. And uh, if if you've got a large area, I know there's that issue with the compactor plate. Small areas like this, you don't really need a compactor plate, you're gonna use the hammer, but if you're doing a large area, probably, I don't know, much more than, say, a meter square, then obviously you may need to use a compactor plate, but obviously be careful with that, purely because you can do a lot of damage with a compactor plate if you don't know how to use it. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm not a paving contractor. Um, I can just I can just do a few, few blocks here and there. Um, I don't know what a paving contractor would charge to come out and do this. They may end up charging you half a day's labour to come out and do this. Um, so obviously there's a cheap way of doing it. That's fine. As you can see, these blocks are pretty loose anyway. But just use your two screwdrivers and just gently, 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 gently wiggle them up. Don't swing on them. If they feel too tight, you can give them a tap with a hammer. Once you get it so far out, you can just completely lift it out. Just remembering which way around they go. So, remove the offending blocks. Now obviously because this driveway isn't flat, you're not gonna get this perfect. The customer doesn't want it perfect, he's not expecting perfect, he knows that it's, um, you know, the driveway's seen its best. While I'm at it, I'm gonna do this one here as well. It's loose anyway, so there we go. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, move your, your bucket, and your nice little trowel, just, Clear away some of this old joint sand. You can use it in the in there. Have a look, see what's in inside it. You got you know a couple of weeds here and a little root, which is not gonna it's not gonna help the issue. So once you've taken out the blocks that you want, you're going to want to put some fresh sand in. So like I say, I'm using sharp sand. Just chuck some in. You're not going to need too much to start with. Just spread it out, because then obviously you can whack the blocks back into it. when you whack these down you're going to be compacting the sand anyway just get a nice sort of flat even coverage i say a contractor probably I'm sure there's hundreds of videos out there showing you how to do this from proper paving contractors but i'm not a paving contractor so i'm just trying to show you that you know pretty much anybody can do it really so the blocks weren't sunk massive massively you know they're only uh a small drop. So once you've got a bit of sand in there, take off all the old excess. 
obviously I'll just clean this, try and keep it as clean as possible. And then pop your brick back in, and you're gonna want it sitting a little bit proud of the area, like that. So obviously that when you whack it down, you're gonna compact it back into the sand. So, oh, excuse me. Let's get rid of that. So I've got me a long straight bit of wood. So you want to level it up with the other side. Take in your, your hammer. You're going to need to put a fair amount of whack in it. That's why I'm saying if you've got a, um, if you can get a dead blow hammer, you'll get more whack for your womp, or warm womp, womp for your whack, whichever way you want to say it. So there you go. Look, first block in, nice and level. You know the guy's not expecting professional results because he's not paying a professional um, co paving contractor to lay it. So that's one in, and just keep going. Scraping the sand off the side just helps them fit nicely. You're going to be putting this back in soon anyway, so. so before you whack the whack the shit out of that one, just make sure the blocks are going to fit. There's nothing worse than getting towards the end and finding out you, they ain't going to fit properly. Let's give this a bit of a tappy tappy. You're not going to be wanting to welt on your uh, spirit level like that. And tap it into place. They are going to be loose for a bit because you're not physically using a compactor and there's no jointing sand in there. So, there you go. Three down. There you have it. Quite quickly, you've leveled off the blocks. Obviously there's no jointing sand in there, so the blocks are going to be a little bit loose. So you're not using a compactor. You're not really going to get any vehicles just driving over this. But you're giving a fair old whack with the, uh, the mallet. 
So yeah, that's that really. I'm going to move on and just reset these ones. They're quite loose, they're quite easy to get out. So I'm just going to reset a couple more while I'm here just to uh, make the job look proper. But yeah, that's it really. Nothing overly special to it. And uh, as you can see, it took me probably 10 minutes if that, just to reset them ones. Just another little service you can offer. Uh, obviously if you've got blocks that are lifting, um, you know, they're sort of creeping up or the, they're, they're lifting out, that's normally an underlying issue. It could be something you've got weeds or you've got a root growing underneath the, the block. So just whip the block out. Sometimes if the blocks are lifting or they are, they're kind of going at an angle, so i.e. if this side was lifting up and this side was sinking, that could be wash out. So basically if, if the driveway's been cleaned in the past, I get a lot of customers who have cleaned their driveway before with their carchers and not, I wouldn't say neglected, but perhaps didn't realise that you've got to re-sand it. And obviously if you do that year on year, you're going to lose more and more and more sand. So you end up with a state where there is no sand left. Um, and then obviously when it rains, you get a heavy downpour, especially on a, um, a steep incline if you've got a, you know, quite a drop off the water rain runs in washes underneath it and starts washing that bed of sand away so you'll end up finding that the sand will start washing underneath the block and lifting it up this end and sinking it down that end so yeah that's that really I'm going to uh, move on to the other two I've got a few more bits to do any questions any comments drop me a uh, drop me a comment if you want any help feel free drop me an email oh, I'm quite friendly I'll reply to most emails right that's it from me Happy cleaning, bye for now.